Hi, my name is Tim. I work as a CRM integrations consultant at Apsys. And uh, today we're going to talk about our integration towards Microsoft Dynamics. And we're also going to have a look at how to uh, quickly set up a marketing automation flow using the Dynamics integration. Uh, but first of all, I would like to um, tell you just a quickly about the integration. Um, our integration is a managed solution file which you install into your CRM environment. And today we support uh, all the um, versions from uh, 2011 and up to Dynamics 365. And uh, we support bo both online, but also on-premise. If you use an on-premise version, you can either use IFD or a VPN to communicate between the systems. These are the tools that we support for the integration. So you can uh, use uh, Apsys newsletters, event, marketing automation, transaction emails, but also uh, A and B testing. And we're going to have a further look into uh, marketing automation later. Uh, but let's uh, log into our demo environment and have a look at how the integration looks like and how you can work with it. Um, when you install our managed solution, uh, we will add a couple of entities under marketing. So we have a subcategory called Apsys, which adds um, login to Apsys, which is a web resource um, where you can log in directly into your Apsys account. And then we have Apsys account, which is where you set your settings for uh, your different Apsys account. And uh, you can have a single Apsys account connected to your CRM environment, but you can also have multiple accounts connected to the same environment. And under Apsys account, is, there's also where you um, do your mapping, uh, where you map, for example, data coming from the contact entity towards your Apsys account. Um, you have Apsys Sync results, which shows you how your synchronization, synchronizations between the system has gone. And then also Apsys transaction emails, uh, which is where you set up your projects for uh, mails such as order confirmations and other transaction emails. And then we have Apsys statistics, which shows you all the related statistics coming from Apsys. But we will have a look at that later. Today we're going to talk about uh, how you can use the Dynamics integrations to set up a marketing automation flow, a uh, typical uh, welcome flow using uh, the Dynamics integration and marketing automation. And um, my idea is that I will have a new context coming from CRM into Apsys. And then once they're added to a list in Apsys, I want them to receive an email uh, with uh, some welcome information. And then they should receive a, another mail as well uh, if they uh, click on a specific link. But I will uh, log in to Apsys and show you um, first show you how the email should look like, and then I will show you how to set the flow up. So I will log into our demo account. And I will find the email. So this is the email that I would uh, like to send out. And uh, first I would like to thank our customers for choosing our uh, integration, our Dynamics integration. And then I would like to take the opportunity to um, suggest them to, um, to, uh, to join our breakfast seminar. And we have two seminars, uh, one in Copenhagen and then one in Oslo coming up. So I have filtered these modules. So using data coming from Dynamics, I have then set up filters uh, so that this module should only be shown to people that live in Copenhagen and this uh, module should only be shown for those who live in Oslo. And um, then we have two links where, where the contacts or the, the customers can uh, save, your, uh, save, save their seats for the uh, seminar. And we can have a quick look at how the filters are set up. This one. And the criteria for the filters are if city is equal to, uh, to Copenhagen, show that module. And we have used the um, data coming from CRM so that we use the contact information on the contact card to, to then filter, filter on. So, um, and further down, we also have 
a bit more information about our marketing automation tool. And then uh, the recipients can also book a demo by uh, clicking this link. Uh, and we will also follow up on that in, in different ways. But uh, we will have a look in, into that later. Um, then let's go back to home and start building the flow. So I will uh, log into marketing automation. This is our marketing automation tool. And uh, by clicking this bar up, up here, you can easily access other tools such as Apsys Lead, for example, which is our lead generation tool. And then also Ecom, which is uh, a tool where you can set up product recommendations, but also abandon cart emails, for example. But let's uh, create a new flow. Um, I will click on create new flow and then you get the options of different uh, types of flow that you can set up. So uh, either a flow based on someone that, that someone has uh, downloaded a white paper or as we're going to use now a welcome subscriber uh, flow which starts by someone gets added to a list which gives you a template with uh, three nodes. And this, this flow will start by someone gets added to a list and I will first of all select the list that it should be based on. There we go. So I've created a list in Dynamics. I've been syncing that list to Apsys. Um, and then as soon as people join that list, they will start this flow. And you can also if you'd like, you can uh, segment it further based on information that you have on the, on the contact. So for example, you can filter on region or if they bought a specific product and so on. So you can use the data coming from CRM to filter even further. The next node is uh, time frame. So I will choose to that this email should only be sent out between 8 in the morning and 5 in the evening. And it should not be sent on either Saturdays and not on Sundays. And the next step is then sending the email. So I will choose here which email that should be sent. So I will choose this content and then I would also like to have a decision. So if they click that book a demo link in the bottom of the email, we should then follow up either by sending a new email or we could also set up a for example, a no notifications to a specific uh, sales rep or, um, uh, or other email address that should be notified when that link has been clicked. So I will choose which link. And then I should choose what should happen. So if someone clicks on this link, I could send a notification to a specific uh, email, for example. Or, I, as I want to do in this case, I would like to uh, send another email with more information about marketing automation. So, I will choose to first have a timer that says we should wait, uh, let's say, three days before we send the next email. And then have the same time frame as before that it should only be sent on weekdays between 8 and 5 o'clock. And then next step, send email. So choose action, send email, and choose the email that should be sent. Now I want to send a, another email with more information about marketing automation. So this is now how the, how the flow looks like. We have a su subscriber that get, gets added to a list. As soon as they get added to the list, they end up in the flow. Uh, we will have a time frame so that it will only send between 8 and, and 5 o'clock. We will then send the first email. If they click the book a demo link, we will wait for three days and then we will have uh, another email sent out uh, about 
uh, mark net mesh. So let's go back to uh, Microsoft Dynamics and have a look at how you can then create, uh, do your segmentation in the Dynamics and create a list in apps is using data coming from CRM. And I will click on the marketing and I will go into marketing list. We use the marketing lists in CRM to create segments. So if I would create a new list, I can then easily just name it uh, new customer welcome flow, for example. We can then choose to have it either static or dynamic. Um, for uh, marketing automation flow, most of our customers use dynamic lists so that they are constantly updated with new customers uh, based on the criteria that they choose. But then also you can have uh, static ones where you need to sync them manually and bring in the, the members manually as well. But let's have this list dynamic. We support both dynamic and statics for the integration. And we will then target it at uh, either accounts, contacts or lead. In this case, I would like to use contacts. And then further down, we will then connect this list to account in Apsys. So I will choose which account that I would like to connect the list to. And then you can choose send the name and send the email for this list. But you can choose that, uh, you can uh, change that on uh, every list and uh, every sending in Apsys as well. Um, I will then save. Once you saved, you need to create a, a campaign because we use campaigns in CRM to, to store all the data coming from Apsys. So uh, such as clicks and opens and opt-outs, they will be stored as campaign responses on the campaign. So if I then create a new campaign, I will click on new. I can name this to um, welcome flow campaign and I'll just save and close. And then we need to then set up the criteria for which context that should end up in this marketing list. So I'll click on the plus sign. I will then use advanced find to set up the criteria. So the criteria can actually be based on all the data they have in CRM. So based on products that, ha that has been bought or um, which type of customer it is, or if it's a customer within a specific region, those criteria will be set up in advanced find. Um, in this case, I will um, choose to add myself and a colleague as test members like this and I will have another email added um, now we found some members and this dynamic marketing list will now constantly look for new members with those criteria. So we added some members and these members will now be synced to Apsys um, either by manually syncing the list or you can also use our, uh, our workflows that are included in the solution which then can be set up to for example sync the list a couple of times a day. Now we've added a couple of members in the in the marketing list and um, as soon as these are synced to Apsys they will end, end up in the flow and if we look at the statistics for the flow we can see that two contacts has uh, gone through we have two emails that have been sent out and we can now follow up on this information in, in CRM so uh, let's go back to CRM and have a look at the statistics coming from this flow. So I will go back to CRM. I will click on marketing and then you can go to Apsy statistics, which is where all the Apsys related data is stored. So we can see that we have a bunch of campaigns here. Um, first you have the, the name of the flow or the campaign in Apsys 
and then you have the campaign that it was connected to in CRM and then you have the type of activity so then either a transactional event a newsletter our market automation emails are sent as transactionals so they are shown as transactionals in CRM um, but for our welcome flow we can see that we have sent two emails we have opened them four times so two of them contacts have opened them twice and then we have clicked three times in the emails and you can also see if they bounce if, if someone opted out and so on so if I click into that specific campaign and scroll down to uh, apps is campaign activities and responses we have more information about who has clicked on what and which link has been clicked on so we have what type of response it is so in this case a, a click we have the name of the customer that clicked on the link what type of activity it was and then also which link that has been clicked on so you can in CRM follow up on this information you can for example set up a workflow in CRM that says um, notify owning users for this contact if this link has been clicked on and you can also for example uh, create a new marketing list based on everyone that has clicked on this specific link uh, so you have more information about the about the clicks and statistics in, in CRM and you can use uh, the standard functionalities of Dynamics to create charts or dashboards based on the information coming from Apsys Thank you for watching this webinar. If you have any questions regarding our integration or uh, marketing automation, don't hesitate to contact us.